at a giant cyberbot right now. This is the world's most popular microbit-based robot. And this summer we're going to different conventions. So we scaled this up to a five times working model. And I'd like to give you a quick tour of it. So we'll start with the chassis. So the chassis is um, 3 8 inch thick aluminum. And I gave the files to the local community college district and they put them on their water jet and then cut out the pieces. And, and it's grained, but it's actually TIG welded and then it's sanded to look like bent sheet metal. So once that was done, we were able to find a five inch rear tail wheel, which is this piece, found a ball off of Amazon. And then we had to figure out the wheels. So these are the wheels. They're made out of um, three quarter inch thick Delrin and they were cut on a Haas CNC router. And they're actually the same size, they're one foot diameter, and they resemble all the details that are present inside of the um, regular molded wheel. So the motors of this robot are from our motor mountain wheel kit. Those are actually electric door window motors. Some of the other parts on this that scaled up that are kind of interesting are the standoffs. So we normally have on the Cyberbot one inch by one quarter inch 440 standoffs, and they scale up to be five inches by inch and a quarter using a one half by 13 screw instead of a 440 screw. And the engineer who actually designed the Cyberbot circuit board said, well, let's just order a big circuit board. Now so there you see the heart. So we'll put that back in and then we'll look at the electronics. And the breadboard houses the control electronics. So we'll lift that off. And inside, you will see that it's controlled by a micro bit on a Cyberbot board. And these output servo signals to two HP25 motor controllers. So those are um, servo signals to PWM. And then there's a power switch for the high power. So we'll turn that on. Then we'll turn on the logic power supply. Replace the breadboard. We'll put this on the ground and then I'll show you the tilt controller functionality. And it's the same tilt controller that we use to control the um, Cyberbot in the small size. So when you tilt it forward, the robot goes forward, turn it right and the robot turns right. 